Hello everyone, welcome back to the third video on how to use a Google Sheet as a database and in this video we are going to uh, discuss about how to get uh, the data and sort the data uh, with a different key value and how to retrieve a single data from the group of data. That is what we are going to uh, discuss in today's video and this is a sample Google Sheet that we are using to retrieve the data and if you're watching this video for the very first time you need to integrate this uh, Google Sheet with the third party tool that we are using so that that third party uh, fetch the information present on the Google Sheet and uh, give us an API uh, with the help of API we are going to retrieve the data present on this Google Sheet so just copy this one and uh, go to the uh, your spreadsheet homepage. I have given a link in the YouTube description. You can just do a free sign up uh, using uh, the um, uh, Gmail account where you kept this Google Sheet. So click on create new and paste the uh, Google Sheet link here. Click on create APA. So that's it. You have successfully created the APA and this is the APA URL to access the data which is present on this sheet click on copy link address now go back to the postman make a new request make sure that uh, it's a get request paste the link that you have copied click on send now it lists all the data which is present on the sheet one but I want to uh, sort the data which is present on the sheet two so just copy the sheet name, put a question mark and use the param sheet is equal to put the sheet name and click on send. Now you will get all the uh, rows that is present on the second sheet, large M D B. So now let's see how to sort uh, the uh, data based on different columns. So now if you see, it starts from one, two, three, which is uh, in the same order as it is present on the sheet. But if I want to sort the data by name, let's see how to do that. Go back to Postman and here use an ampersand and we need to use a one more key value pair the key is sort underscore by and equal to how do you want to sort you have to specify the column name I want to sort the data by its name so click on the send and now if you see it starts from the alphabet A and it goes to Z so sort the entire data in an alphabetical order based on the name. So if we want to sort the data by age, then I have to specify the sort by from name to age. So now I got all the data sorted based on the age. So if you see here, it starts from 12 and it goes up to 18. And in both the cases, it sorted everything on ascending order and if you want to sort by descending order you have to add additional param called sort underscore order is equal to descending so if you click on the send then it sort everything based on the age in the descending order format you can use the same for name as well so instead of uh, listing the name from name which starts with a it list uh, the name starts with Z first and it goes the last is Alberto uh, which is up starts with letter A and that's the use case of uh, this sort by and sort order and now let's say you want to get one single object instead of an array you can use an additional param called single underscore object is equal to true if you set this single object to true it will display only the very first record in the form of json not in the form of array so if you click on send 
you will get the first record in the form of our JSON. And that's the purpose of single underscore object. So that's it for this video. We have completed all the gate operation that you can do on a Google Sheet. So I have given a link in the YouTube description. Just go ahead and, and play around with the API. In the upcoming videos, we will see how to create a new record, update the record and do a batch update and delete the record. That's what we are going to see in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye bye.